Hey, what's up everybody? Epithemy here, and today's video was suggested in the comments by Richmond Hokaishi, and he wants me to make a video explaining the best settings for hearing footsteps and the best sound settings as a whole. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then definitely be sure to hit that like button. 10 likes would be awesome. Your guys' support is crazy, and we've been killing the 10 like goal with at least 10 more likes, which is so awesome, and I can't thank you guys enough for your support. And if you haven't already, then definitely be sure to click the cue card up in the top right hand corner to check out yesterday's in-depth video on changes that can be made to CSGO to make it even better. But that's enough of all that. Let's go ahead and hop right into today's video. Now, I want to start off the video by explaining some ways to better your sound quality outside of CSGO settings because there are many ways that can really help you out and improve your settings more than CSGO can. So the first way is upgrading your sound card. Now if you have a bad sound card and try to change your headphones to some expensive ones with very good quality, your sound card won't be able to keep up and it won't really make a change in the sound at all so you'd be better off doing what Stewie2k did and you just use Apple in your earbuds if you don't have a good sound card because that's really all that's gonna, you know, I mean, you're gonna get the same sound quality pretty much. Now, if you already have a good sound card, then definitely upgrade your headphones or even do what I did and buy a sound mixer so that way you can adjust your sound separate from your computer. And if you need to, you can boost it on your computer by using the Windows volume settings as well as, you know, using your mixer settings. So. Now, we're going to actually hop into some CSGO settings that can most definitely improve the sound of footsteps and things along those lines. Now, I'm going to show you all a picture of my main volume settings, and these settings let me hear footsteps from far away very easily when I turn up my headset, and that's without even using my mixer. That's just with using and turning up and down the Windows volume itself. So, I'll go ahead and show you guys. They should have been on screen already. And that's really my settings. That's what I use. But now we're going to go over some console commands of some volume settings as well. And the first one is the voice underscore mixer underscore volume, which is on your screen, which is set at 0.5. That's what I have it at. You guys can change it and mess around with it. And the reason why this is so low is because it is mainly the other people's mic volumes. And I'd really rather hear my game volume over my teammate's mic. Especially since CSGO partially mutes the other sounds in-game when people talk. And that's what this command really helps out with. Another thing that you can do is, you know, hotkey the whole voice underscore enable zero command to a key so that way if you're on you know say a 1v1 1v2 or even a 1v3 situation you can go ahead and just hit that hotkey and mute absolutely everybody and you don't have to worry about people talking now the next command that i'm going to go over is voice underscore scale which is set to one and that's really what i have it at just as the 0.5 and it's set to 1. Now, this is along the same lines of what I just said about the voice mixer command, but it is the core and your core volume and your main volume for other people's mics. And I just have that set at 1. Now, the last thing that I want to touch on is what my Windows settings are and what they're at while I'm playing CSGO specifically and while I'm doing other things on my computer. Now, when I'm playing CSGO specifically, my volume is set to 60 to 70 in the little Windows slider bar thing. Now, when playing CSGO, that's really what it's at and that's what I turn it up to. But when I'm doing other things on my computer, such as editing and things like that it's always anywhere from 20 to 26 now the reason why i'm telling you this is for the sole reason of your ears getting used to certain volumes if you play at a high volume like that 60 to 70 like i explained all the time then your ears are going to get used to it and then it starts to seem quiet or you have trouble hearing things or some sounds are drowned out and things like that now if you are already at the max as well at that 60 and 70 and then you try and turn it up more it's not going to do a whole lot for you at all or you, some computers you won't even be able to go up you know from that 60 to 70 70 to 100 won't really make that much of a difference for you now the reason why my settings are the way they are and the reason why i have lower volumes when doing everything else is so 
That way, I'm never used to the same sounds when I'm playing CSGO. I'm not used to that 60, 70 volume range, so when I do turn it up to that volume range, everything is so much louder, and everything is so much clearer, and I can hear footsteps, you know, halfway across the map. And that is also partially because the headphones I'm using, and those are HyperX Cloud 2s, but they don't have a separate volume changer or anything like that. It's hooked straight up to your Windows sounds, and so when you adjust the volume on the headset, you're adjusting the Windows sounds. And that's where I got that 60 to 70 from because that's what I used to always play at and that's before using my mixer now overall these are all my settings in game and outside of CSGO as well your settings may differ you can mess around with these but I'm just giving you my input based off of my settings I really hope me going over these settings and explaining why and how I have everything set helps some of you guys fix your sound problems I mean they might have now if not, then definitely be sure to, you know, try one of the first three things I suggested. Changing your sound card, getting new headphones, or even getting a separate mixer that doesn't mess with your Windows volumes. Now, if you do have any questions, if you want to see anything else, or have some more commands or input on volume and sound in CSGO, then definitely be sure to leave it down below. As I said in the beginning, your guys' support is always so amazing. All your video suggestion suggestions are always amazing, and if I reply to your video suggestion, then... I'm definitely going to make that video and I will have it out. So if this is not if this is not, you know, your video that you suggested, then definitely be sure to keep an eye out for it because it will be up. Now I can't thank you guys enough for all your support. I hope you all enjoyed the video and don't forget to drop a like. My name's Epithemy and I'll catch you all next time.